what happened was 2015 when the government realized that Bitcoin think actually Zimbabwe was leading in adoption. We were actually leading, right? Because one hard mode need to commit this trade, which allows the overcome sanctions, which it are because of the and Bitcoin and page neutrality. So trade neutrality means that regardless of whether you're communist or socialist, capitalist, or whether you are from or from America, it doesn't care who you are. Your transaction will be processed based on the size of the transaction, right? Zimbabwe was leading came to that. And what happened was as soon as we put ATMs, our lovely politicians said, Oh, you guys need to get outside of the country. They banned it. They placed an implicit ban on Bitcoin. And as soon as that implicit ban got placed on Bitcoin, premiums went up to as high as 98%. You could sell your Bitcoin for 100% in Zimbabwe around 2025, right? Because people needed a currency of a trade neutrality, right? Especially when it comes from a region of Zimbabwe, let's be sanctioned by the world in 2050. Space is also, by the way, are illegal sanctions. So these are sanctions that the United Nations came, they sent the representatives and said, okay, one, sanctions are illegal. Two, they have the Zimbabweans over $100 billion, right? In terms of business aid, foreign, foreign aid, and even loans, for example. Uh, all off of the population, seven million people are us are big because of that. Functions block uh, the ability for foreign Zimbabwe to process transactions internationally. They also freeze their accounts for people, trade internationally sometimes, and they sometimes have assets confiscated. 